What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another Treywick Garage video. It's been a minute. It's been a minute since I've made an upload, but we're back. We're better than ever and we're ready to start doing some more modifications to the Corvette. It's just been so difficult to film videos this time of year because like you can tell I'm, I've been out here like five minutes and I'm already pouring sweat. This time of year in South Alabama is almost miserable even when you go outside for like two minutes with the humidity. It's awful. But we're going to push through. Uh, we're going to film some more content. Um, speaking of, the body kit that's going on this car, the aero kit. I've got the Z07 style side skirts that are going to be going on the side, as well as the stage two front splitter and Z06 grill. So I've had those pieces in for quite a while. I got them from the Extreme online store. I'm sure you guys know probably a lot about their products, very popular stuff. Um, they've been sitting in the box in my house for the last probably like month and a half, two months. And I'm, I'm getting tired of them being in there. They're taking up a lot of room. So we're finally uh, going to be putting those on the Corvette. I'm not sure from the time I'm filming this video if it's gonna be tomorrow or the next day, but those will be going on very soon so we can check that off the bucket list. So definitely expect to see a video on that very, very soon. And speaking of modifications on this car, that's what this video is entitled. So, so we've done a lot of cosmetic mods of this car, and you know, those are all great. Like that's stuff that makes the car look a little more custom, but, but what we're really ready to do is some performance modifications. So I just want to take a minute and go over a couple of things I'm thinking that I want to do starting out modification-wise on the C7, and also get you guys' opinion on different brands. Maybe you've experienced it, maybe you have some of these parts, uh, and just kind of give me some advice on you know what we should do moving forward with this car. So first I want to pop open the hood and take a look at this. So in my opinion, honestly, that's one of the most essential first mods you can do to any performance car is a good cold air intake. I had a K&N cold air intake, the Typhoon system on my V6 Camaro, loved it, it was phenomenal. So I definitely want to get a cold air intake to go on this car. I feel like that's the first easy step to making pretty decent power, uh, you know, a little bit. It's going to make help cool everything, um, is to get a new cold air intake. So after doing a little bit of research, I've seen a lot of the brands, you know, the, the big brands. You've got your Corsa, uh, K&N, all those brands have a cold air intake. Uh, I don't think I want to go with K&N for this one. I think there's a lot better systems out there. And then also the Corsa system is just really expensive. I, I don't know. You guys tell me, is it a lot better? Is it worth the price jump from that one? I think what I'm leaning more towards right now is the AFE intake. I know that a lot of people have done the AFE cold air intake and tune on their car uh, and they really love it. And it's got good reviews. It's kind of the industry standard. I guess you could say for from what I've seen. So you guys let me know uh, is AFE the, the best brand to go to for cold air intake or should I look at some other brands? You guys let me know. And also while we're in the engine bay, let's talk headers. So this is not on my priority list of mods I want to do. Obviously it's a step that I want to do eventually. I want to do headers. Um, again, it's not super high on the list right now, but I do want to go ahead and get you guys opinion. What are some good header brands? What should I look for when looking for a set of headers for these cars? Um, I'm looking for good sound, obviously. Um, some good power increases, nothing too crazy. I mean, we're not shooting for like a thousand horsepower on this thing. Um, just, you know, a good modified, let's get some good power out of it, but nothing too crazy. So you guys let me know also, I'd love to hear down below what you guys think. All right, moving on. Speaking of exhaust, uh, I want to do some exhaust modifications to this car. I think for right now, I want to stick with the stock mufflers. I think from, you know, kind of here back, I think I'm probably going to keep it stock for right now. I don't mind it. It's not bad. Later down the road, I would like to go with the full course extreme exhaust. But again, I am daily driving this car, so I don't want it to be too, too crazy and obnoxious. But I know after doing some research, I definitely want to do an X-pipe. I really think that's going to give this car a good tone, but nothing like too insane. So when looking at brands, I know that obviously there's all the big hitters. You've got Corsa, you've got Borla, you've got all those brands. And I've seen good reviews of both of those online. I know probably some of you watching this have had those systems and may can give me a little bit of insight on that. But I'm also not super opposed to going to a little bit smaller of a brand. I know some of these, I know some of these other Corvette tuners put their own X-pipes out. Uh, I've seen that Billy Boat makes one. And if you guys are not familiar with Billy Boat, I fell in love with their C5 Corvette exhaust. In my opinion, it's still one of the best exhausts that you can get for the C5. So I wouldn't be opposed to doing something like that. Again, I'm not necessarily sticking with one brand all the way through. Now looking forward to the future, it probably would make a little bit more sense to go with the Corsa if I'm going to do Corsa on the backside. But again, that's stuff that can always be changed out. We can always swap the X-Pipe to a Corsa X-Pipe when we do the full system um, and just kind of run it with a different brand for a while. I'm not opposed to that at all. Okay, sorry for the change in scenery. I guess that I was parked in some sort of ant bed. I don't know if you can see that. There's just like tons of ants all over the car. 
like but anyway as i was saying um before we were really interrupted with the ant colony that decided to just latch on the vet but uh, as i was saying that's kind of the the easy mods that I, i'm thinking of right now i think that'll be a good stage one build nothing too crazy but we're gonna upgrade this car get it a good little everyday driver street performance car and you guys let me know if i missed anything is there any other pieces that I should be looking at right out of the gate to modify this car again this is a new world for me I've got an old Corvette and it's totally different than this so uh, you guys let me know is there anything I'm missing is there any other parts that I should be looking to get some really good performance uh, out of this C7 Stingray Z51 all right so I think that's going to do it for this one again just a short little video this is more of a an asking question more than it is for me being entertaining I really want to get you guys opinions let me know you know what I talked about some of the different brands what should I go with is there anything that I missed uh, and again I think it'll be really cool you know to get you guys input on building this car that's kind of what i want it to be i want it to be a channel car i want you guys to be involved in the build let me know what you think i'm really excited for how this build is going to turn out and hopefully you guys will join along with us so with that being said again i think that's going to do it for this one thank you guys for watching as always i hope you enjoyed make sure you like comment subscribe let me know what you want to see next and hopefully as we grow the channel get us where we want to go we'll be able to do some really cool stuff with this car as well as all the other cars in the garage so again thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed and we'll see you on the next one